Hello and welcome to another episode of True Confessions. My name is Brian and I am a ChatGPT addict. Here's my story. Rossi Bites. So during the day, I'm an e-commerce professional, but by night, I'm a ChatGPT addict. Lately, I've been fascinated with the ability of ChatGPT to help someone like me, who is not a developer, to be able to create applications that actually do useful functions for an e-commerce professional. It all starts with a really good prompt. So as you can see here, my first prompt was asking ChatGPT to write a web application that uses HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. This web application should be called an AI synonym generator. Its function will be to produce a list of synonyms for a given word. There should be a box that allows the user to type in a term with a button labeled generate synonyms. Upon clicking submit using the chat GPT API, a list of synonyms, each separated with a comma should be returned using the word inputted by the user below the box. Please return only a maximum of 10 synonyms for the given word. The chat GPT API should be called as follows. And I provided an example as they provide it on the open AI website. So this was the prompt that I started with and I was only thinking about doing a synonym generator. Well, that turned into a very long evening with chat GPT. And as you can see here, I've had a very, very long conversation, spent a lot of time with ChatGPT. Long story short, I was able to create a pretty cool and useful dashboard that I'm about to show you next. So we'll just do a quick overview of the code that ChatGPT generated. And this was just back and forth with me and ChatGPT talking about what I wanted it to look like. As I said, I started with just a synonym generator, but then I decided, oh, let's add like five other small little micro applications into this particular website. Again, because I'm not a developer, I'm really kind of doing a lame rudimentary thing here with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But you can see here that it gave me some really good HTML to do what I was trying to do. It also gave me all the styling that I needed in my CSS for the application. And it gave me all the JavaScript that I needed along with comments that were useful for me. And one of the things I'll say is with regards to the JavaScript, when you're interacting with the chat GPT API in this context, one of the important things that you have to realize when you compose your API request to chat GPT is that you have to define a role for chat GPT. So for example, you can see here messages, role, user content. So this is basically going to take content that I as the user am providing, and then I'm telling chat GPT, rephrase this product description to make it more engaging and interesting. Please avoid repetition of phrases. And then it's taking my input as a variable to pass into chat GPT. So you have to make sure that you define your role and you can define that to be whatever you want it to be, depending on what you're asking for it to do. So now that you've seen what the code looks like, let's take a look at how this application actually works. Okay, so here we are, the e-commerce utility dashboard created by Rossi Bytes and GPT-4. Uh, so you can see here, I've created a variety of different tools. I have a product description generator, a product description enhancer or a rephraser, an AI synonym generator, a spell checker, a social media post generator, and a blog article generator. So we're gonna go through each of these and show how this actually functions. So for the product description generator, what we're going to do is just come up with a product name. So I'm gonna do Lakeview Adirondack Chair. Then I can provide some keywords separated by commas that I want ChatGPT to use to generate a meaningful product description. So we'll do comfy uh, Hollywood lumber, waterfall front, curved back, contoured, and you can really do as many as you want here. 
I'll do UV protectant. Assembly required. And then just click generate description and you'll see a little progress spinner here. And once the description is generated, you'll get back the description in a text box below. So as you can see, this chair is durable and resistant to the elements, ensuring it will last for years to come. The waterfall front and curved back provide a contoured fit that's perfect for relaxing, while the UV protectant ensures that the vibrant red color won't fade in the sun. Assembly is required, but it's well worth it for the unbeatable comfort and style of the Lakeview Adirondack chair. Whether you're sipping cocktails on the patio or reading a book by the lake, this chair is the perfect addition to any outdoor space. So why wait? Treat yourself to the ultimate in outdoor relaxation and order your Lakeview Adirondack chair today. <laughs> so literally, I didn't have to type any of that. All I did was give a name and some keywords that I wanted the product description to be based on. And it came back with a pretty cool product description. So next we'll move on to the product description enhancer. So what we'll do is we'll take this product description that we had created here, and we're going to click the copy description button. And you'll notice that it says that that content has been copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to come over here and just paste in that product description and then click to enhance the description. And we can see here that it's created a whole new description. Experience the ultimate in outdoor relaxation with our Lakeview Adirondack chair. This chair not only boasts a stylish design, but its durable construction ensures it will withstand the elements for years to come. You'll never want to leave its contoured seat and curved back, providing unbeatable comfort. Perfect for sipping cocktails on the patio or reading a book by the lake. Plus, with its UV protectant, your chair's vibrant red color will remain just as bright as the day you bought it. Yes, assembly is required, but we promise it's well worth it. So why wait? Upgrade your outdoor space and order your Lakeview Adirondack chair today for the ultimate in comfort and style. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the AI synonym generator. So since we're doing an Adirondack chair here, I'm just going to come in and type in Adirondack chair. And then I'm going to click Generate Synonyms. So as you can see, it's turned back some synonyms. Rustic chair, mountain chair, lake house chair, outdoor chair, wooden chair, cabin chair, deck chair, backyard chair, patio chair, and camp chair. So it sounds like what it's doing is it's coming up with synonyms for the combined term of Adirondack chair. And it's more or less changing the Adirondack, I think, and providing synonyms for that. But this is just an example of how you can put a term in and have it generate synonyms for you. Okay, so next up we have the spell checker. So this would just be an example of how you could take, for example, product description data that you have created that may have some misspellings and use ChatGPT to actually do a spell check and provide you the corrected text back. So what we're going to do is I already have the product description that we got earlier, and I've gone in and intentionally misspelled some words, and I'm going to click on the check spelling button. And due to some additional styling still needed, this is going to expand beyond the boundaries of what I would want it to width-wise. And I've coded this so that the response that comes back, I asked it to highlight the words that were misspelled and that were corrected for us. And so you can see that there's a few different, pro a few different words here that it identified as being misspelled and changed them back to the correct spelling. And then we can very conveniently click on copy corrected text and then paste it back into wherever we need to to get our product data updated correctly. So next we're gonna focus in on the social media post generator. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in our product description data and then I'm gonna click on generate social media post. Now I've instructed ChatGPT in the prompt to create hashtags at the end of the post as well. So as you can see, it's come back with a social media post. Relax in style with the durable Lakeview Adirondack chair, featuring a contoured fit for the ultimate comfort and UV protection to prevent color fading. This chair 
is the perfect addition to your outdoor oasis. Order now and sip, read, or simply soak up some sun in luxury. Hashtag Lakeview Adirondack Chair. Hashtag Outdoor Relaxation. Hashtag Comfortable Living. And then finally, we'll take a look at the blog article generator. So the first thing we need to do is provide our product name. So we'll do Lakeview Adirondack Chair. And then we're going to paste in our product description. And then we'll just click Generate Blog Post. And the prompt that I gave this one was to write a short, creative, and inspiration story, avoiding phrases like once upon a time, about my product name, and then here is the product description. So it's giving the product description so that ChatGPT has more content to base its content on. So here we go. Maggie had always wanted her own little slice of paradise in her backyard. She spent years dreaming about where the perfect spot would be and how she would furnish it. Her vision included a beautiful wooden deck overlooking the serene lake view, surrounded by verdant trees and colorful flowers. And of course, the centerpiece of the space had to be the perfect Adirondack chair. Maggie searched high and low for a chair that met all her criteria. Stylish, sturdy, and comfortable but nothing ever seemed to match her vision. Until one day, as if by fate, she stumbled upon the Lakeview Adirondack chair. It was everything she had ever wanted in a chair. The vibrant red color stood out and immediately caught her eye. She knew it would add a touch of con contrast to the lush greenery surrounding it. The chair's curved back and waterfall front looked so comfortable like they would fit her body like a glove. Plus, with its UV protectant, she knew the coloring wouldn't fade even with hours of sun exposure. Maggie dreamed of sitting in that chair, sipping a cool drink and enjoying the view of the lake. She eagerly ordered her Lakeview Adirondack chair and patiently awaited its arrival. Assembly was required, but as she carefully constructed it, each piece fitting perfectly into place, she felt a sense of accomplishment. Finally, the chair was complete, and Maggie couldn't wait to take her first seat. She settled in, and it was like she had found a piece of heaven on earth. The chair was so comfortable she could feel all her worries and tensions slip away. She took a deep breath of the fresh outdoor air and felt grateful for the beauty of nature surrounding her. From that day forward, Maggie's backyard became her sanctuary. Every morning, she would wake up, pour herself a cup of coffee, and take a seat in her beloved Lakeview Adirondack chair. It was her go-to spot for relaxation, contemplation, and recharging. And every time a friend came over, they would marvel at the beauty of her backyard and the stunning Lakeview Adirondack chair. Maggie knew that her search for the perfect Adirondack chair had come to an end. The Lakeview Adirondack chair had not only met her criteria, but exceeded it in every way. It was a reminder that sometimes the perfect piece of furniture can help you create the perfect space for yourself, making all your dreams come true. <laughs> I mean, wow. Seriously, there's no way I could have generated that type of content that quickly. Not only that, I'm not a developer. And to be able to use ChatGPT to talk in a normal conversational way and have it actually help me by giving me code for the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript needed for this little dashboard tool. And then I'm able to code it and have it working the way I just demoed it to you just completely blows my mind. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe and I'll continue creating more content like this. Thank you very much and have a great day. Rossi Bites.